ho, ho. It's really Santa. It was the night of the reindeer games and all through the Big Brother Lodge, four finalists were stirring, all ready for a finale watch. Okay, I'm no Clement Clark Moore, but I am breaking down the Big Brother Reindeer Games finale. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the biggest threat of all? It's me. We've got Nick Valdez coming in later to talk all about the finale, but first, let's get into the recap. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. It's Xavier, Nicole, Frankie, and Taylor who are competing for a very generous hundred grand stocking stuffer in the finale, which our elf Tiffany explains is going to be comprised of two semifinal showdowns before the ultimate championship. You're going to want to win this final naughty and nice challenge if you want an advantage. But first, you've got to identify which painting in the house is a forgery. And that didn't take very long. Xavier said he'd been studying the paintings all week, so he noticed that Mona Blitzen is now Mona Vixen almost immediately. Not only does his win mean he'll get a 30 second head start in his semifinal showdown, it means he gets to make the bracket as to who will go up against who. My life in this game is in Xavier's hands. Taylor and Xavier have been aligned this whole game and Taylor's been adamant about keeping X around to take out Frankie when the time came. So I was gagged when he put himself up against Nicole, making it Taylor who had to face the comp beast in the semifinals. If I were Xavier, wouldn't you take the 30 second advantage in the first bracket and try to take me out? That's what I would have done. Nicole thinks there's a very little chance she'll beat Xavier, who's walked away from like 90% of the Santa showdowns this season. But she actually kills this Nutcracker gear puzzle, even with a 30 second delay. With that win, she's officially advanced to the finals and she sent X home. Holy crap! So now it's Taylor v. Frankie in the Ho Ho showdown of a lifetime. They've got a slingshot down mischievous elves based on clues from a police bulletin, but if they shoot down the wrong ones, they have to totally reset. And that's exactly what happened to Frankie just as he was about to win. He hit the wrong elf and gave Taylor a chance to sneak in a win. I do wish that I took home the win. I can't be heartbroken seeing how happy Taylor is. And let's just say, with Frankie and X left in the final four, the evicted house guests are pretty shocked to see it's Nicole and Taylor who have emerged victorious to face off in the Reindeer Games final. Holy snowballs. So you're telling me that it's going to be Taylor and Nicole in this bad boy? It's a three-part final. They've got to recover the magical mistletoe, the ancient antlers, and sacred snowflake by stacking, climbing, puzzling, and balancing through a bunch of different challenges. But it's the snowflake stacking that really equalizes the game. This looks so tough, they both knocked over their stacks time and time again until something clicked with Nicole and she managed to pull ahead, making her the winner of the Big Brother Reindeer Games. With the North Pole at peace, we're bringing in our Big Brother Reindeer Games correspondent, Nick Valdez, to talk all about the finale. Welcome, Nick. Thanks for joining us. Oh, howdy, everybody. Howdy, Anna. I I can't <laughs> believe Reindeer Games is over. I It yeah. feels like it literally just started yesterday. I, I know, <laughs> like, but I, I, I hope we get this every year. I, I just want to yeah. say that starting right out the front. Like, I, I really hope this becomes an annual thing because this was so much fun. It was so much fun. It really got me in the holiday spirit. And we were just chatting before we turned the cameras on. It felt like a lot more happened than yes. the episodes that we had. Like we only had six episodes. And uh, man, they really packed a lot of content in there. So this has been a real big treat. Yeah, it really feels like it's been six weeks. <laughs> I know, I know. So forgive us if we mix up our weeks and days. Uh, let's start off right off the bat. What do you think of Nicole being our winner for Big Brother Reindeer Games? Did you expect I, that? What, what, what do you think? No, I will be 100% honest. You go back to my prediction. I predicted Taylor would be the winner. She made it to the final two where I was yeah. like, okay, it's Taylor's time to win it. But as we've seen in these Reindeer Games episodes, there are so many surprises, like big wins pulled out of thin air. And for Nicole, I, I kind of really have to give her the props for it. Like, I guess once again, she showed us why she's a winner in the first place, right? Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> she's been on Big Brother 9 million times and she wins a lot of it. So I'm, I'm not shocked that she <laughs> won, but also I never predicted. I think I forget who my early prediction was, but I was kind of rooting for Brittany to get in, the, get in there and represent mm -hmm. the old school Big Brother. But Nicole? She really pulled it out when she needs to, and she proved that again in the finale. I mean, those two puzzle challenges, I, I thought she was never going to make it. And there she was at the end uh, with the $100,000. So props to you, Nicole. 
Even if I said mean things about you in the past recaps, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like she she took out some big players to get there. Like not only did yeah. she beat Josh in that really tough looking candy cane thing, like oh my god, that looks so that rough. Was nuts. Let's talk about that for a second because that was literally that was like the first photo finish in Big Brother history. I think I truly. Yeah did not expect both of them to fall off at the exact same time. Josh has got like five feet on her. I That's why I was just so surprised. And, you know, and from then on, we really should have saw more surprises coming because then yeah. she beats Xavier, like who just didn't lose a Santa showdown until the worst possible time. <laughs> I, know, I know. And it's funny because, you know, he picks Nicole to go up against as the easy one to beat and he totally screws himself over. Do you think it would have been the same result if he had gone up against Frankie, or do you think he would have uh, made it on to the next round? Honestly, I do think it would have been the same result, because that's the thing. Frankie is such a tough player that yeah. when he went up, when he gone up against Taylor, I really expected him to win. And who would have guessed it came down to one missed shot that kind of just yeah. lost it for him. It was so neck and neck. I, I was just kind of on the edge of my seat. Just <laughs> Me too. Honestly, I think that's what has been so fun about Big Brother Reindeer Games is that not only are all of these players, most of these players, sorry, Cameron, most of them are really <laughs> on the same level of, of talent and skill when it comes to the game. I had to do that, sorry. It's okay. But, but the, the challenges are equalizers too. They're not all physical. They're not all puzzles. So you, it's been back and forth on who can really pull it out. Like, take the three-part Reindeer Games finale. Yes. The first part is like stacking. Taylor's very tall, so she's got an advantage there. You've got to jump and catch things. Then it's this kind of antler puzzle that I never really figured out what they were doing. But And then we've got this stacking snowflakes thing where I would have gotten frustrated and been done with it about uh, 15 seconds in. And it's back and forth. You think Nicole is super behind until the snowflakes, and then she pulls ahead, it clicks with her and she's the winner that that is good game to play yeah like i think that's what we have to compliment about reindeer games as a whole and that's kind yeah. of also why i want to see it because not only is it just comp heavy we get so much good social game too just so tightly mm -hmm. condensed and at the same time, there's no really like, no one's really angry at each other. They're just like, yeah. okay, we have to move on because there's no time to <laughs> stew in it, right? There's yeah. no time to stew in the betrayal. It's just like, okay, let's <laughs> let's think about today's challenge already. Speaking of betrayal, I thought Xavier and Taylor's uh, relationship throughout the game was really interesting because they really did lean on each other despite Taylor pretty much putting everyone above X time after time because she wanted him to take out Frankie. And uh, in the end, X kind of betrayed her. She ended up pulling out the win over Frankie in the end, but that's definitely not what he thought was going to happen. And, and that's the funny thing too. Taylor played a perfect social game. That's the thing. Yeah. Like she made it to the final two as like the perfect player in this. Like she quickly figured out how this was working and made it to that finale, which is why her loss is even more surprising that it came down to just stacking snowflakes. Like who would have guessed? Yeah. And uh, I don't even know what those things are made of. I would have just, I would have immediately lost it. I would have said, no, okay, it's time to give up. I lose. <laughs> Nick, you and I need to go on Big Brother so that we can both just immediately get frustrated and quit at the first <laughs> shot. Adversity, and we're done. <laughs> First time I'm put up for elimination, I, I'm just gonna go out swinging. I'm like, you know what? I hated all of you anyway. <laughs> you know, as we've seen with Dr. Will, that might work in, in your show. So. <laughs> but overall, I, you know, Nicole wasn't my pick for winner, first, second, or third, but. Uh, she makes sense to have won. Looking back at the game and how it was played, it makes sense that she made it to the end. It makes sense that she took home the win. She was very well insulated as well. And having Frankie go to bat for her so many times, uh, you know, sometimes crying, it works. I don't know. Sometimes it's a violent strategy. I, yeah, that's what I was just <laughs> thinking about too. Nicole spent so much of the season crying about how she didn't want to go up against Xavier, how she didn't want to 
do these big competitions and lose. And then when it came down to it, she literally won all of them that she needed yeah. to. So I, hey, it, I mean, while Taylor played the perfect social game, it appears Nicole did too. <laughs> you know, and that, that's why she's not my favorite player, but that is why I respect <laughs> the hustle. Clearly it works. <laughs> so Nick, any last thoughts about reindeer games before I bid you farewell until 2024? Ah. I can't wait to see what season two of this brings. I, I yes. want to see a longer run. I, I would take like three weeks of this throw yeah. more contestants in there. Let's get it more chaotic before we, cause it's so fast that I can't believe it's over already. That's the thing yeah. too, right? Like I, I had so much fun that when it came to an end, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I felt the same way. Hopefully they do renew it for a second season cause that would be a lot of fun. I'm gonna sign off for 2023. Thank you so much for watching these Big Brother Reindeer Games recaps with us. Uh, Nick, I can't wait to chat with you about other shows, wink, wink, uh, whenever <laughs> we come back in 2024. So like and subscribe, we have more stuff planned for you. Until then, have a very happy holidays. I'm Anna Rumor with Pop Culture. And I'm Nick Valdez from comicbook.com. Bye, everyone.